I'm now going to simulate the failure of the disk drive and show the response of the cluster to it. Now the other disk drives in the node will still have content, and the node will still be serving content from them. It will just have lost a certain portion of its content, and the cluster will now have to initiate a recovery action. This case is going to be slightly different than pulling the network cable, because the node will actually be able to help and let other nodes know that the failure has occurred. Don't try that with your normal storage server. Casper is designed to expect the failure of a node and other components, and part of the design is to be able to have a cluster handle that situation without an admin having to intervene. In the case of the loss of a disk drive or a node, what has essentially happened is the total storage available within the cluster has now decreased. We call this a graceful degradation of service, meaning that you still can serve you only conserve content and store data in the cluster, but it's simply eroded by a certain factor based on the hardware that went bad. You now see that node 102 is reporting under critical errors that it is having problems with that drive. Let me point out in the volume status here, you see that it's taken that volume, it's marked it as unavailable meaning that it's got this cascade of I.O. errors that it's unable to do anything with it. And so it is now it is now abandoned it and has told the rest of the cluster that it should initiate recovery for that disk. It is it goes out and proactively announces to the cluster that that volume is now gone and that everybody should initiate a recovery action. Um, you see that that actually took place a very quick short period of time here for this this third node, and let's look then back at 101 here. It also was a very fast, fast operation for for just that one drive that had that had left it. So the the node with the fail with the failing volume detected the failure. It announced it out to the cluster. The cluster then went through and uh, re-replicated the content that went missing on that disk drive that that just went offline. An administrator at this point would have the option of letting this letting this node continue to run like this with just three drives and replacing when additional drives failed or they could schedule um, since the cluster now is um, all that happened was now the storage from that one drive is is, is down in the in the overall storage the, the administrator does not have to take any action immediately. They can choose to do that at a scheduled maintenance time. The last thing I'm going to show here is the cluster status report. This is similar to the um, similar to a node the node report which was shown a little while ago. And it just takes the information from all the nodes and aggregates them together. You can see it's showing a summary of the volumes that that exist in the in the cluster. It's showing that one of them is one of them is not available right now, and as well as some of your usage metrics down here, how much storage how much storage is, is available and how much is in in use currently. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you'd like more information about Castor, please go to www.carino.com.